Okay, so this is going to be a continuation of the last, I believe the last reading that I did. Um, yes, it was the Twin Flames who we have here. Ooh, and today's seven, not seven, oh my gosh, August. <laughs> Tomorrow is Lionsgate. Okay, so what's really interesting though is I, for each card that I got, I got, I got another card. Um, to give me more information, okay? So this is a Divine Masculine messages and messages here. And, um, okay, so one of them is I have to battle my own demons, okay? So um, them having to battle their own um, shadows and, and stuff like that. And so I asked for a card and we get the Eight of Cups. I'm like, oh my gosh, that explains it perfectly. Eight of Cups is like the single person, you know, walking moving on, you know, from a, a chapter in their life or it's, it's going on your own journey. Okay. It's a single person and they're going on their own journey. They're walking away. They're on their own path. So I thought that was really cool. Okay. So, you know, as much as a divine, fe us divine feminines want to assist and help so much, which we do a lot on the spiritual, um, th you know, there is, the masculines have to, you know, do their own journey. Like, like this says, I have to battle my own inner demons. Okay. So that's part of their awakening. So just trust that. All right. So then we have, what else? Oh, yes. Look at this. I was scared of this love. It was overwhelming. Now, did I get a card for that? Or was this already here? Okay, so I don't think I clarified this, but this clarity of belief is right here. So that really talks like to this, they know, they feel it in their heart. They know it's like overwhelming. This, this like that, uh, that love, that unconditional love that is that link between you and your feminine masculine. So yes, it was overwhelming. Okay. Oh, this connection is a roller coaster ride, and I love it with the Three of Cups. So it's like it's a roller coaster ride, and they love it. And it's, it's like when this heart um, it's, it's like fusing together, the two together, feminine and masculine, and it's fusing, and it's just like psh, like exploding. So this is a connect. This connection is a roller coaster ride. Okay, let's see. I am fighting for us with the high priestess. I love this. It's like, listen, go within. I am fighting for us. Listen. Yes, I am fighting for us. And I don't know if I read this last time. Did I get this? I don't know. I'm just going to keep reading. I want the Ten of Cups with you, a family, a legacy. So it's like, listen up. Listen, go within. Okay, because I am fighting for you fighting for us. So it's like, listen, go within. All right. And then look at this. We deserve the weight with third eye chakra and heart chakra. I love it. It's like linking the, the that inner sight, this perspective to the heart, which is where that beautiful unconditional love is. Unfurling back to love, pin, pineal perspective, pineal perspective with we're worth the weight, we deserve this love. Oh my gosh. Okay. So just bear with me. It's a little messy over here. I got another card. Okay. Remember we're talking about alignment and it's all about this true alignment of the masculine and feminines within. Well, we have homeland 44 master number. Okay. Home. Arrival, a journey ends, establishment, building, settled. That is beautiful. And she's just reaching up for it. She knows. Fine feminine knows. Okay, so, and this is another, what other messages? Okay. We've got the hero. I love this. Heaven and earth. Okay, as above, so below. And the the Ten of Cups. And remember over here, we were talking about, got the message from the masculine. I want the Ten of Cups with you, a family. 
And then we come over here. The hero, it's like the hero's journey between heaven and earth, as above, so below, and balancing the two and going on your own journey as the hero. Uh, bears have been coming up lately. I've been seeing bears a lot. So, uh, yeah, this Ten of Cups. Okay, so it's, it's aligning in that higher existence, heaven, onto earth. Using that just that beautiful energy, twin flame energy. I also thought the swan, the swan came out too. So that's definitely depicting the twin flame union. Okay, there's some other messages. Let's got to get to them. All right, so what do we have over here? Oh, I love this because it's like masculine, feminine. This is the eight of swords, I believe. So this is definitely depicting I feel like the masculine um it's entrapment okay trap getting getting out of that so releasing the chains himself seeing the truth the light is coming down and let's see we got journey last time love okay love is what is is assisting this whole thing this unconditional love Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we got the body-mind, which is really interesting. We got the emotion and intellect. Okay, we've got heaven and earth, and we have body-mind. Body-mind. So the body-mind, okay, is here. It's being aligned to this higher frequency of, of love, of love. So it's getting, it's taking the chains off. You know, it's like healing the wounds here. And the masculine is doing his part, okay, as the feminine does her part. But look at this. This is a very straight-up message here. Look at this. We've got orphaned, okay. Peaks of joy. Totally, can we, it's, so it's very, very straightforward. Okay, your intention. What is your intention? Do you want peaks of joy and being this joyful it's the other side of the coin it's very polarized i mean it's like orphan to be in um, depression and sadness or peaks of joy what is your intention it's very straightforward and then we get love and compassion love love this is it two hands it's like people coming more people coming together love and compassion is the root it's like that essence of what changes everything when you have love and compassion and being in compassion for those who are maybe in this energy okay and anyways okay another quick message we got is we've got divine feminine energy here mad majestic eminence priestess divine feminine worth worthiness okay and there's that tiger beautiful and then look at this yin which is feminine energy that the feminine feminine okay divine feminine energy receiving allowing i love it and look at this metamorphosis which we did get metamorphosis on the divine feminine quick reading metamorphosis came out for divine feminine so she's just shifting and shifting into this beautiful butterfly even more, going through another shift. And look at these cards. <laughs> I love it. Music, crystals, and ceremony. Yep, that's I definitely resonate with this reading. Divine feminines for sure. Okay, harmonizing, harmony, harmonizing your focus and invoking what you want to create. This metamorphosis. Everything that you're doing as a twin flame is also assisting your masculine, okay? Aligning to this uh, higher frequency and alignment for, for both of you because like the last reading we had, it's a spiritual connection. It's a spiritual connection, okay. So it's pretty, pretty straightforward. Divine feminines, you are been meta metamorphosizing, I don't know this word, uh, through like even using music and crystals and earth you know earth energy earth magic 
ceremony, you know, we do the full moon ceremony, you put your intention, see she's putting her intention to the crystals, prayers, um, affirmations, all of that, all of that is assisting in your journey. So, so since I'm by my cards, let's, there's this card sticking out from the Divine Masculine deck. Yes. Okay. The emotions can be so intense that I cannot contain them. I try so hard to hold them in. That is that. Whoo. Yeah. Those emotions, you know, and it, it, it can be overwhelming. You know, it can be overwhelming like we got earlier. So let's get a love card. Turn on your heart light. Wow. Every is so much about the heart chakra, the heart chakra, like turn on your heart light. Reflect on a time when you experience love. So, yes, this really helps in bringing it to you is visualization you know, visualizing what you, what would it look like? What would your, your partnership look like? And living as if, you know, and, and sometimes it just comes straight in visions. You'll get visions. Uh, at least for me, I get more uh, visions because I'm more clairvoyant. Uh, but anyways, I just had to share this and I hope to do a reading, if not today, tomorrow for the lion's gate. It's one of my favorite times of the year <clears throat> is Lionsgate. So let's get pick one of my cards, actually. Passage into the infinite mind. Love it. We did get the body mind card. So, okay, let me get this uploaded. And I'll talk to you guys later. Have a blessed day and evening. Goodbye.